Hey everybody, Jordan's Touch Reviews here. Today is July 12th, 2009, and I'm here for an application review on Type Drawing, developed by Hansel Hub, and is available in the App Store for 99 cents. So before I start this application review, I want to first say thank you so much. If you guys haven't realized, I have passed the number of subscribers I did have on my old channel. Jordan's iPod Touch Talk did have 174 subscribers, and now I have a couple more than that. So I want to say thank you, big thanks to you all for subscribing. So, you guys might be wondering why I'm not in the application already and why I'm on my home screen. It's because I have some examples of what you can do with type drawing and I want to show you guys before I actually show you the application. So, the first one I'm going to show you is this little character and if you look closely on this character, you guys will realize that it's actually made up of tiny letters, A, B, C to be exact. And that's the first one I want to show you. Next one I want to show you is pretty much the same. He is made up, if you look closely, of a bajillion letters and that's how this drawing is made up. And the last one is pretty crazy. You guys see there? This face is also made up of tiny letters and words in different shadings. So that's basically what you can do with type drawing. I'm going to start up the application now. You basically use letters and draw pictures or customize photos with it. So this is the loading screen. You guys see it says you can share your artwork that you create on Flickr. And Flickr is basically a picture hosting site where you can uh, upload your own pictures and create albums and that sort of stuff. So this is what type drawing looks like. On the bottom is your basically menu bar or your toolbar. The first one is where you actually type in where, what your uh, letters are going to say. So I already have typed in hello YouTube. But you can make that say anything you want as long as you want. So I'm going to hit confirm. And the next, the little T, you can customize your font, the, the thickness or the, the shape of the letters, and um, the shading, the color of the letters, and the patterns that will show up on the letters. So you guys see here, there are, quite, there are quite a lot of font choices. The next one, you can either choose size by speed. I usually have it set on that, meaning if I run my finger across the screen slowly, the letters will be really small, like that. But if I go a little faster or a lot faster, then the letters will be thicker and a lot, lot bigger. And the next option right here, you can change between black, going to a shade of gray, lighter gray, and then eventually white. And the last one, you can choose a pattern. You can have crisscross, checkers, kind of like what this thing is on the letters. So I'm going to just choose the default right here. Hit confirm. And the next thing here, you can choose the background of the place. So you can have a ne yellow notepad, a white notepad, a plain white background, a black background, or you can choose a photo from your photo album. So I'm actually going to choose a photo from my photo album just to show you guys. This application is great for people who like customizing pictures that they take with their iPhone or even just customizing a picture that they uploaded to their iPod Touch. So this is, the type, this is the type of application I can't really say I recommend. It really depends who you are. Like I said, if you're the creative type that likes customizing and editing your photos that you take or upload, then you're going to love this application because it, it is a really great nifty feature. But uh, for the people who just like regular games and apps, I wouldn't recommend this a lot because that's basically what you can do. You just run your finger across the picture and you guys see there, words will start appearing and that word actually does say hello YouTube and if I run it faster you guys will see it's a lot bigger and then if I go like that as we'll see it does the same so that's basically what you can do with this application after you customize it the way you want you can choose the option of saving it to your photo album so I'm just gonna hit save and that will appear in your album and it says save successfully Confirm and the last thing you can do is just backspace and delete the things that you last did So that's basically it. You also have a new button up here to start it all over That was a quick application review on type drawing Like I said, I recommend it to the people who are creative and like customizing and editing their photos But not to the people who just regularly like apps from the app store So that's basically it guys type drawing available in the app store for only 99 cents Definitely check it out. That was just a quick application review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.